Six properties spread out across north Georgia and southeast Tennessee are now the subject of a federal investigation. Tonight we are taking a deeper look into the life of luxury federal agents say a Georgia man paid for by employing illegal aliens. And as Sydney Edwards shows us now, the suspect himself may have clued police into his lifestyle years ago. Sydney. That's right. Now, this has been an ongoing investigation for years now. In fact, Perez might have tipped agents off back in 2015 after one of his own employees got in a car accident and he went through a deposition. This is our first look at the man suspected of employing nearly 200 illegal immigrants. This is the only photo on record of Juan Perez from an arrest in Bartow County in 2015 when he was caught driving with a suspended license. Perez is suspected of paying those employees low wages without benefits and keeping the money he owed for taxes for himself. Now, this home and five other properties under his name are under investigation. This aerial shot shows the home federal documents say Perez, his wife Ava Torres, and their children lived in in Rydal, Georgia. This federal search warrant says he kept firearms here. Today we went to his Hickson address, a home and back garage that is listed as another Aztec business site. Neighbors say they often saw large parties of people in the yard. A woman answered the door when we stopped by. All she said was that she rented the home from Ava Torres. According to testimony, Perez had multiple high dollar cars registered in other people's names because of his own illegal status. We were there as some of them were towed away by federal authorities in Rossville on Tuesday. Neighbors told us they always wondered where the money for those cars came from. On record, Perez claimed he had half a dozen employees, but one of those employees told investigators he actually employed up to 200. Court documents detail Perez's five bank accounts with deposits and withdrawals totaling millions of dollars. Back at this Rossville location, the business is still shut down and neighboring business managers say they haven't seen anything else going on while they've been out here. Tonight at 6, I'll have more on what might have been seized from other properties of Perez's. Reporting live in Rossville, Sydney Edwards, News Channel 9. Sydney, thank you. To read more from those federal search warrants we obtained yesterday, head to our website, newschannel9.com.